Hi Paper Crafters, this is Robin from Robin's Creative Cottage. I'm going to share with you another card today using the Country Life Cricut cartridge. And from the handbook on page 42 and 43 are the images that I'm going to use. I'm going to use the sheep image and all of its layers, the base layer and then his woolly coat and then the bow for um, his head and then the chicken as well with all of his layers. So I'm pretty much going to cut um, everything out, the colors that you can see there. Here's the pieces that I cut out and I cut the sheep at one, sorry, at two and three quarters inches high and the chicken was cut I'm gonna out. I'm going to use my Jenny Bowen multi and three quarters inch, just to ink up some high. of the lighter pieces. And I took the sheep, and the sheep has some curly images on it, and I wanted to make sure those got inked up really well. So I was lifting them up from the cardstock, just kind of pushing them out so that they would catch some of the ink as I rubbed over the top of that. So I just went around the edges and then just brushed lightly over the top of those little curly cues for my sheep. And then I inked up the lighter pieces for the chicken. For the glue that I'm using, this is the Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue. So it's kind of a new product that I'm trying now. I've seen a few people using this and I thought I would give it a try and so far I'm liking it. Um, you just have to squeeze very lightly and you can get just a little dab of glue. So I went ahead and put my sheet together and now I'm working on the chicken. So here's my two images finished, my sheep and my chicken side by side. For the eye, I'm going to put an, a brad in my chicken's eye and then also a brad in the sheep's eye. So I just went ahead and poked it through and they got an eye. They got the same size eye, so the chicken's eye is quite huge. It's kind of funny, but I like it. I grabbed my paper trimmer and I wanted to cut the paper for my background. And this piece of paper is actually from Le Recollections, the Union Square. And so I'm going to put my sheep and my chicken right over the top of that. This piece of cardstock measures four inches by five and a quarter. I grabbed a brown piece of cardstock for the layer behind my pattern piece. And um, this is going to measure four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And it will just layer right behind my pattern paper. And then for my card base is eight and a half by five and a quarter. Just fold that in half. And then there's my layers for my card. So I decided to add some stitching with my sewing machine around my card. And I just went with the two layers, put some tape on, pulled the strings through, put some tape on the back. And then I also did, had just a couple scrap pieces that I used, and these are going to be placed on the inside of the card. For the sentiment, I grabbed one of my favorite stamp sets from my craft spot. This is the Friends and Neighbors Inside and Out. And I'm going to ink up the sentiment that says, life gives you many reasons to smile. Just grabbed a scratch piece of cardstock and inked it up with my memento ink. And then I grabbed my spellbinder dies, a couple of my oval dies, laid them on the top, decided which size I wanted to use. And once I decided that, I cut out with my, using my cuddle bug machine. The larger die, I cut out a red piece of cardstock and then just layered the two together using that um, mono glue. And now I'm just trying to decide the placement of where I want to put that on my card. So in the meantime, I decided to add a couple eyelets. No, sorry, these are brads to my 
word smile right next to the smile so I went ahead and added those to my sentiment just to give it a fun look and then again still deciding the placement of where I want to put that on there and in the meantime grabbed um, some of my craft spot crinkle ribbon and just deciding on what color to use and I decided to go with the brown so I wrapped that around there and just tied a nice bow on there and then once I had one bow on there I decided to do a double bow just trimming it and then just looping it through and just tying another bow so it kind of gives a double bow look just trim the ends there adjusted my loops and thought that turned out really nice So I flipped my card over and added a little bit of tape just to hold my ribbon in place while I added my ATG tape. And it didn't glide very well over my stitching, so I kind of had a little bit of trouble there, but um, just worked with it a little bit and it turned out just fine. So I added, added that to my card and then the extra piece that I had done earlier, I added that to the inside of my card. And again, just working on the placement of where I want my little characters and still haven't figured out where I want to put that sentiment. Trying to find where I want it to go. So I finally decide that I want to just put a couple brads down at the bottom. And I had to lift up my cardstock just a little bit, so just poked three little holes and then added three little brads right in there but um, it was my card the ATG tape wasn't sticking really well to my card yet so I was able to peel it up easily and add a little more tape on there and fold it back down for my sheep and my chicken I decided to give them kind of a 3D look so I grabbed my mounting tape to put on there put a little bit behind the sheep and the chicken. I love to use that mounting tape. That's probably one of my favorite ways to give a little bit of a 3D look. So add a little bit to the sheep and the chicken. And then again, grab my poker tool. And that's what I like to use to pull the tape off the back. Or rather the extra plastic pieces that are on the tape. So put my sheep on, and then my chicken, and then my sentiment. I finally decided I wanted to put it on the inside of the card. So I grabbed my sentiment and decided where I want the placement, but I put it on the inside and I thought that turned out really well. Thank you for visiting today. Hope everyone has a great day.